Azubillah min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Sayyid al Mursaleen, Khatim al Nabiyyin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Wa ilahukum ilahu wahid, la ilaha illahu, ar Rahman, ar Rahim. Your God is one. There is no God except Him, the compassionate, the merciful. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now in the 15th month of a global pandemic, which has devastated lives and livelihoods across the world and has scarred us with fears for our own health and well-being and the health and well-being of our loved ones. In Surah Baqarah, Allah says that we shall certainly test you with fear and hunger and loss of property, lives, and crops. Brothers and sisters, all of life is the test and we will all be tested. Certainly this pandemic has been a trial for the entire world, but we are tested in our lives every single day in ways which are unique to each one of us. So how are we supposed to deal with these trials and come out successful in the eyes of Allah? Brothers and sisters, the answer lies in living life with sabr, shukr, and dua, our patience, gratitude, and prayer. And inshallah, in today's khutbah, I will focus on the notion of prayer or dua. And inshallah, if I get the opportunity in subsequent khutbahs, I will go into more detail about the notion of sabr or patience and shukr or gratitude. So brothers and sisters, what is dua? Dua is a path where there is none. In Surah Talaq, Allah says that he will find a way out for those who are mindful of him. And he will provide for them from, a, from an unexpected source. So brothers and sisters, turn to Allah and supplicate to him for he can hear and answer all our supplications. Brothers and sisters, prayer alone may not bring water to parched fields, nor mend a broken bridge, nor rebuild a ruined city. But prayer can water an arid soul, mend a broken heart, and rebuild a weakened will. Brothers and sisters, it is believed that Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, never ate alone, and he always wished that there was a guest at his table. And at one time, a whole month passed by and no one came to his house. So upon Allah's guidance, Prophet Ibrahim set out to find someone so that he could share his food with someone. Finally, Prophet Ibrahim Ibrahim came across someone who asked him to be his guest. And Prophet Ibrahim accepted his invitation. After dinner, it was Prophet Ibrahim's custom to pray. And he asked his host to pray for him. But his host replied that he had given up praying since he had prayed and prayed for something but his prayers had not been answered. And thus he felt that he was not worthy of making prayers. So Prophet Ibrahim asked him, what did you pray for? And the host replied, that I have heard of a great prophet of God, his name is Ibrahim. And for years I prayed to meet him, but my wish was not granted. I must not be worthy of making such prayers. So you make the prayer. 
instead. My, my dear brothers and sisters, how many times have you prayed for something and felt as if your prayers have not been heard, as if your prayers have not been answered? How many times have you despaired and felt that Allah has forgotten you and forsaken you? Brothers and sisters, you do not know when, how, or in what form will your prayers be answered. You do not know what, what is the moment, the perfect moment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking to fulfill not just what you have asked for, but what you don't even know you need but and haven't yet asked for. So brothers and sisters, do not despair and be patient for Allah to manifest his divine blessing for you. Blessings more perfect than what you can ever imagine for yourself to be true. So brothers and sisters, supplicate, make prayer, do dua, and know that Allah Allah is listening to your prayers. Allah is mindful of what you are asking for. Allah is close to you. And Allah is waiting for the perfect, the ideal moment to answer your prayers in, the, in a way more perfect than what you can ever even imagine to be good for you. So supplicate, my dear brothers and sisters, make dua and pray to the one God. Brothers and sisters, in terms of shukr or gratitude, in Surah Ibrahim, Allah says, if you are grateful, I will surely give you more and more. Now, Allah does not need our gratitude. But if we are grateful to him, he will increase the good in our lives in this world and the blessings for us in the next world. So brothers and sisters, make dua, supplicate to Allah ask for his mercy, and be grateful for his blessings. And finally, brothers and sisters, when it comes to sabr or patience, in Surah Anfal, Allah says, Inna allaha ma'a sabirin. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. So brothers, brothers and sisters, how should we manage the trials in our life which are imminent, which are certain? Brothers and sisters, divide your life into three parts, sabr, shukr, and dua. They all go together. One is complete without the next. So live your life with sabr. Live your life with shukr. Immerse your life in dua. And the trials of this life, this dunya, will melt away. And you will find success in the eyes of Allah, both in this life and the next life. Inshallah. Wa Sadaqallah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Prayers and peace upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. All prayers, all praise belongs to Allah, 
abundantly as he has demanded. And I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, alone without partner, exalted beyond partnership, and similarity to all of humanity. And I bear witness that our master, our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and acknowledged messenger. Know that Allah the Exalted has bestowed his salutations upon the Prophet from the beginning of time. For Allah has declared an eternal, knowing, wise, informative, and instructive declaration that magnifies and ennobles his Prophet. Indeed, Allah and his angels send salutations upon the Prophet. O you who believe, pray upon him and greet Greet him frequently. O oh Allah, do pray upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad as, he, as you have prayed upon Abraham and his family in this world. And indeed, you are praiseworthy and exalted. O oh Allah, forgive all the believers, male and female, those who are alive and those who have deceased and are not amongst us. For indeed, you are all hearing very near an answerer of supplications, O Lord of the universe. O Allah, strengthen the faith of Islam and keep and help elevate the word of truth and faith. O Allah, make the best of our lives their ends, the best of our actions our final ones, and the best day, the day that we shall meet you, O Allah. Allah, remove from us your hatred and your wrath and anger and do not place as a power over us those who neither fear you nor have mercy upon us, O Lord of the universe. O Allah, improve our states, heal and correct our conditions, help us attain those of our aspirations you are pleased with, seal our actions with virtue, our destinies with happiness and joy, and give us death only when you are pleased with us, O Lord of the universe. I ask Almighty Allah, Lord of the Grand Throne, that he forgives me, forgives you, and all the Muslims together. Servants of Allah, indeed Allah commands justice, virtue, kindness, and generosity of kin, and prohibits immodesty, transgression, and evil action, so that you may take heed. Remember Allah, the Almighty, and he shall remember you. And Allah knows best. Sadaqallah. My dear brothers and sisters, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, peace be upon him, said that if Allah wants to do good to someone, he afflicts him with a trial. So don't despair in the face of trials that life brings you. In Surah Doha, Allah consoles the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and through him, he consoles all of us. And says, by the morning brightness and the night when it grows still, your Lord has not forsaken you, nor does he hate you. And the future will be better for you than the past. Your Lord will give you so much that you will be well pleased. Did he not find you an orphan and shelter you, find you lost and guide you, find you in need and satisfy your need? So do not be harsh with the orphan. Do not scold the one who asks for help and talk and remember the blessings of your Lord. Wa ilahukum ilahu wahid. La ilaha illahu. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma akfir lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat. Sadaqallahu al-azim.